the world's largest and most mysterious island set to become the most important island in the coming times, known as Greenland, where global competition seems to be surfacing. It's witnessing an expansion of military activities, particularly from China, in recent weeks. Most people remain unfamiliar with Greenland, considering its unique location throughout history. Surprisingly, it surpasses even Mexico in size, yet its population is merely 56,000, residing mainly along the western and southern coastal lines. Now, the obvious reason for this is that nearly 80% of Greenland is covered in snow. Hence, it doesn't receive much importance, as it's mostly seen as a icy island. But soon, a lot is about to change for this snow-covered island, which has remained obscure for centuries. It has now become a highly significant place for the world's major superpowers. The United States reopened its consulate here, and China is constructing an airport in Greenland repeatedly. What's happening that has made Greenland so crucial? Let's find out in this video. The answer to this question lies in the fact that whoever controls the seas will rule the world. This has been the trend for centuries. Those who control the world seas rule the world. However, in our world, there's also something that no one has attempted to control, and that is the Arctic Ocean, covered in ice for centuries, which deterred everyone from approaching. But now a significant change is occurring due to global warming. The ice of this sea is melting rapidly, and the melting of this ice means more control over new trade routes, fresh water reserves, and the gateway to new superpowers, and this is within the Arctic Circle in Greenland. In other words, anyone who wants to go into the ocean has to cross Greenland, so whoever controls Greenland will have control over everything. In fact, America recognized the importance of this island many years ago, and during the Cold War, it set up military bases here to keep an eye on the Soviet Union. Large radars were installed here to easily detect any attempt by the Soviet Union to attack America or Canada from the northern side. However, after the end of the Cold War, there was no need for these bases, and American forces left all these bases. But now, due to global warming, as the snow is melting, Greenland's importance is increasing. However, this importance is not only increasing due to articulation. Three more things have happened due to the melting of snow that literally shakes up our upcoming future geopolitics. First, we understand the location of Greenland. Greenland is between Europe, America, Canada and Russia. On one side, Canada climatizes the entire northwestern region, as all shipping routes pass through its area, and therefore, control should be in its hands. Then comes Russia, which controls its military bases on the entire region from the North Sea to the North Pole. That's why it has built its military bases on this entire region. A few years ago, Russia had also placed its flag on this ocean. In reality, after the melting of ice, a new trade route will be formed, known as the Northern Sea Route. After this route is established, the sea trade distance between East Asia Europe and Northern America will significantly decrease. Currently, most of the trade between East Asia and Europe goes through canals, so it will easily shift to this route because this route is much shorter. Also, since this route will be under Russia's control, it will earn a substantial amount from this trade route. That's why the United States is building icebreaker ships worth billions of dollars. 
so that its navy can patrol the entire Arctic region and maintain control over this region. Then comes China, which is a completely non-Arctic country. However, China is very active in this region, and one reason is the Polar Silk Road that it is building in collaboration with Russia. Another reason is the small city of Narsak in Greenland, where 25% of the world's rare earth minerals are present. These minerals are the reason behind our entire technology. From smartphones to MRI machines, electric cars, and military jets, our entire technology is dependent on these rare earth minerals. And as the resources in Greenland, including oil, gas, and thorium, are starting to be discovered, the significance of Greenland is growing not only for its rare earth minerals, but also for the abundance of other valuable resources. In fact, according to sources, Greenland may have around 30% undiscovered natural gas reserves. For centuries, these reserves were hidden beneath the ice, but now, gradually, they are coming to the surface. Greenland is, in a way, under Danish control, but it has its own local and independent government. Both the United States and China directly benefit from this government. The United States understands well that China's entry into Greenland could cause significant harm. China already controls 70 to 80 percent of the world's rare earth mineral production and supply. If it establishes a presence in Greenland, it could become unstoppable in becoming a world superpower. Greenland is somewhat behind the rest of the world in terms of infrastructure. Due to the presence of mountains and snow, most travel is conducted through small airplanes, helicopters, or snowmobiles. In 2013, when the Chinese Prime Minister visited, he requested funding to build an airport. China was already looking for such an opportunity, and it immediately agreed. However, this deal raised alarms in the United States. The American government pressured Denmark to cancel the deal and succeeded. Greenland terminated the agreement with China and instead of China, Denmark started funding the airports. Clearly, the funds were coming from the United States. China had already been eyeing Greenland's rare earth minerals. It signed a deal for zinc and lead mines in Greenland. However, the owner of these mines suddenly terminated the deal with China. And shortly after, the owner received a check of $650 million from the United States. This made it clear to everyone that the hand behind ending this deal was the United States. Furthermore, both China and the United States are actively trying to influence Greenland's future. Despite opposition from the United States, China has made significant investments in Greenland's fishing and tourism industries. In conclusion, world superpowers are actively trying to shape the future of Greenland. And as time passes, significant changes are taking place. The focal points of the world are shifting and new powers are emerging. The consequences of these changes on the world will only be revealed with time.